Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at BMC's new lineup of the Alpine Challenge 02 models. In my last video, we just did a review of the 01. If you're interested in that and you haven't seen it yet, go check it out, I'll link it up above. But in today's video, we're just gonna be looking at the 02 model. So we've got these three different bikes here, and we're gonna start with the AC 023. So the bottom of the range and work our way up. So for those of you who don't know, the BMC Alpine Challenge, the AC, is their main hybrid bike. So we've got flat bars on all of these. The AC01 range, which you can see over here, is a bit faster, is a bit sleeker, is a bit more minimalist. And the AC02 here has a bit more of a mountain bike geometry as well as a few more mounts. So if you're needing to carry more stuff and get a little bit more hardcore, the AC02 is the bike for you. So let's start here with the AC023. So this year's color, we got a nice sleek black as well as a finish of the logo with this sort of dotted pattern gray color here. That's really interesting. So unlike the AC01, which is indenting out, you don't really notice anything indenting out, but you do feel the texture of this pattern. So that's pretty interesting to see. So it stands out a little bit more than the more sleek profile of the AC01. We've also got a different style fork here. So the AC01, the fork is a completely different shape and bends out down near the bottom. This one you can see is a bit more straight and has different brake mounts as well. Another thing that you'll immediately notice is we've got all of our cables all over the place in the front. The AC01 is a bit more cleaner with that and it has a lot of internal cable routing. There's no internal cable routing on this bike, so that's one of the reasons it's a bit cheaper, but if you're one of those people who's more comfortable with the cables routing outside of the frame, like me, then this bike is perfectly fine for you. You can see down on the bottom of the frame, and we've actually got an indented section, so that's where all of the cables are tucked away underneath these little guard things here. So that's pretty unique to this system. So the AC023 is equipped with Shimano Sora group set. And the tires, we've got some Continental Contact Speed. So these are pretty similar to the tires that we've got on the AC01. One of the main differences though is these are 35C width, whereas the ones over there are 28C width. And we've also got a bit of a heavier wheel set on here. I don't even see the branding for it, we, so we definitely got a bit of a heavier wheel set on this option here. Let's take a look at the top tube section. It's a pretty sleek top tube. Here's the saddle as well. For the seat post, we've also got a round seat post on this model, so a lot of BMC bikes are going to different unique D-shaped seat posts, but that's not the case on the commuter line. So on the back end here, this is one of the big differences between the AC01 and the AC02. We've got some different mounting options, different holes here. So we've got some of these lits here on the sides as well as a hole here that we can use for different options. I believe this one here is intended for the fender system on this bike as well as the hole down here on the bottom. The wheels themselves are quick release, so we're on quick release disc. So that's enough for the AC023. Let's move up to the next level. So this is the AC022. And I really like this green finish here. It's kind of like a subtle green. And we've also got that same sort of dotted gray finish here that you can feel when you rub your fingers along it. I really like the subtle green color. On this one, it's equipped with Shimano Tiagra. And overall on these bikes, there's not too much difference. It looks like we have the same wheel set on here. We've also got the same tires. We've got the same saddle, we've got the same seat post, and we've also got the same handlebars as well, I'm sure. So there's not too many differences there. The main thing is the group set itself. Also on the fork here, we've got an interesting design here inside, on the inside section of the fork, this pattern here. We've also got some mount options here. I believe these are for the fender attachments. On the back side here, we've also got another BMC logo. And moving on to the last item in the range, this is the AC021. So this is their Air Force gray color. So we've got gray on gray, pretty nice for a city bike. And this one is the only one equipped with the fender set. So this fender set is quite different than the AC01 fender set, but it's included in the set. We can see they're attached to the mount sections in the front fork here, also to this hole here. So those are where you mount them. This one also has a nicer wheel set. So we've got a DT Swiss. RB22 wheel set. So a nicer wheel set on this one compared to the two and compared to the three range. Another big difference between these is the three and the two have a double chain ring up front, whereas this is the only one on the carbon belt drive here. So I believe this is an Alfin 8 system. 
So we've got eight gears to work with. On the back, this is where the fenders are mounted. So we've got a mount here, as well as another mount here, as well as another mount here. So this is how it all looks. Fenders are a must, especially for me. I'm commuting every day in Japan and we're about to enter a rainy season, so definitely need to get myself a fender set. So for myself, I'm debating between getting the O2 model, mainly because this one has some better options for attaching a rack on the back, but I might not need that. It might be good to go with the AC01 over there. It's a faster option. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this range? Which of the AC02s do you think is best? Which is the best color? Which is the best specs? Let me know down in the comments. And if you think the AC01 is better, let me know why. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more videos about my time here, some of the other bike reviews, I'll be linking the playlist above. So be sure to check that out. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise.